I, I mean, I'm. You got it. Oh, did you pot it way up? I pot it all the way up. I, oh, didn't, I didn't touch it. Okay, okay. Well, then maybe you're just the signal gain is evening out. Whatever, because he said. I still sound it weird. No, no, no. He well, he was the only per- other person who noticed it. Like he's like, yeah, I, I hear it too. So I said, well, you know, can we see what's up? He said you blew out your processor in there. I don't even know what that means. Well, all these microphones have something called processing through them, which is what you know, if, like. If we were to talk to each other, just our raw voices, we would sound the same, but the signal is processed in a way in which it's broadcast, and it's far too boring to get into. But the fact remains, the reason that your microphone sounded so flat was because that processor was blown out. Was that something that I did, or is it... I don't know. That's what I would love to know. Do you know how long... You know, we're moving to new studios, allegedly, in the next few months downtown, I shouldn't say allegedly. They're building them, or we're going to be down there. Um, they got tables. Tables. <laughs> they got tables. <laughs> Levels, Jerry. Um, and so we're going to be down there <laughs> in a few months, and it'll be all new equipment or whatever. But, you know, far long time before I got here, WMMS was downtown. So I don't know how long they've been out here in Independence. Like 20 years. I, I 20 years. Is think, it that long? Okay. I think it was like 2001 when they moved here. There you go. So they've been out here for 20 years using these studios and blah, blah, blah. Poundcake's been on the show for about five years. And in that five years, he blew out the mic processing in that side studio. Because I'm the only one that uses it in here. You're the only one who sounds like that when you do. I can't lay it at your feet, but I do <laughs> like you're to try it. Did it commit suicide? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Mike. It just took itself out <laughs> of the it's game. Just like, I can't do this. I know I only have to do it for till March, but I can't take uh, another day. Heck no, I won't go. And Not now he's a... recording his podcast here. I'm out. No. Well, that too. Now you're recording your podcast in there. And so I thought, boy, it finally... It took all it could take, and it can't takes no more, and, uh, and it blew out. Now, whether or not that gets replaced, I don't know. Um, but that was the that was the explanation, and that that made perfect sense to me. Uh, that that piece of equipment would have burnt out. But uh, at this stage of the game, I don't think they're putting they're not putting no. anything new into this building. No, so. that's why I, over here, like I I have, I was talking to a friend last night, and I was telling him that I use my personal computer. Like, you don't have a work computer? I was like, no, I have two work computers. Neither of them work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We call them work computers because yes. we use them at work. But yeah. Well, it's funny because, you know, a couple of times a year we get this email that we have to recertify for what's called FCC compliance. And it's just something so that they can put everybody on the books and go, hey, this is what it mm-hmm. is. We told you. It's all stuff we know. Mm-hmm. But we have to go through this certification training every year where you have to sit there. And I'm sure people have this for whatever you do for your job, uh, your office, you work for a company. I'm sure there's something similar where you kind of have to take this training module thing. And you don't – it's very passive. All you do is you click next, and they read things to you. And it's not live person. It's all pre-recorded. And they give you scenarios. Like, That's right. Payola yeah. and all these, game. all these things that, that, that people have, uh, have heard of uh, if you pay attention to uh, how radio works uh, to some degree. But it's a lot of, and again, it's things we all know. If you've done this job for more than a few years, you know uh, how this works. But you have to go through it and whatever. And what made me laugh was, I love the stock photos that are throughout this thing. Oh, are these the models? Well, the, yeah, it's just stock photos of models, and they're laughing, and they're having mm-hmm. fun, and they're looking over spreadsheets and whatever. And, and again, I'm sure, you know, if you work in a corporate environment, you know full well what I'm talking about. But for our purposes, it's stock photos of people. But they all have headphones on mm-hmm. <laughs> because they're listening to the radio. Because they're radio they're, people, <laughs> There Alan. you go. I know. Well, no, not the people in the studio. Oh. The people who are just sitting around. Hmm. And the, my favorite one is I'm going through it, and I'm just curious if we have, on a day like today or any other day, I'm curious if we have people like this one particular woman in the stock photo where she was sitting in the windowsill of a huge window. looked like she was in an urban loft or something, and she's sitting in the windowsill. And she's uh, comfortably dressed, and it's a sunny day, and she's wearing her headphones, and she's throwing her head back in laughter, I assume listening to this show. And uh, she's surrounded, her feet are surrounded by succulents. And I just wonder if we have any listeners who enjoy this show, enjoy might be optimistic, who consume this show in a windowsill with any regularity. Here's people in their cars, uh, people who are... Uh, slavishly beholden to their listening devices and their Alexas and things like that. I wonder if we have 
Any listeners, this was a female in the stock photo, but just as easily be a guy. It looked like a pretty relaxing day. I wonder if we have any listeners that would love to listen to the show in their windowsill, but they got old drafty windows <laughs> and they need an upgrade. <laughs> Any re- any recommendations, Alan? I would point them to Window Nation, Bill. Right now, they've got an amazing deal going on. But here's the thing, too. When we finally got a move-in date downtown, I would like to give away to one lucky listener the chance to listen to the show from the windowsill of our new studio. Do you think we'll have sills, or do you think that the pain will go to the floor? Uh, I think the pain goes to the floor. Oh, it goes to the floor. I mean, if you walk by, you can already see that's kind of how the setup is. There might be a little laptop bar. I don't think it's going to... I think that the the way that... I just saw it the other day, and the desk is in the middle of the room, Yeah, the, the, and then there's the, four chairs around it. There like you that's go. basically what it is. Yeah. But what about we're in the sales area? The sales area is just a bunch of desks. Yeah, but there might be one... They can't look out the window. They can't even see, like... No, no, the there's a different... Day. There, there will be windows... Uh, the way I look at it, there's only going to be windows on Euclid. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, f- uh, so there'll be like conference rooms, right? And stuff but I don't know like if there that. will be sills. Yeah, and I, I don't think, I think be those sills. will be. Yeah. yeah. But also, they could, they could curl up in the corner at you know on the floor by the window, <laughs> like a that's cat. What they want. Yeah, we get like yeah. a beanbag chair or something, there and that could go. be a prize. A love come, sack. Come and enjoy the Alan Cox show love sack. There you go. Yeah, you get to be a fly on the wall while we love record sack. the show. Hear yeah. us make cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be fun. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah, figure that out. First day on the show. First week on the show, I'll give you a little teaser. Uh, time permitting, we'll have Dr. Ryan Berglund make a triumphant return for Is It Red? Um, but the first day in the new studios, we're finally going to get to that goddamn pogo competition that we've been sitting oh, on we're gonna do for that the better Thursday. part of the day. Yes. I love it. Because we'll have a huge picture window. Yeah. And we'll have people walking by going, I don't know what this is. It's utterly ridiculous, but I'm transfixed for the next few seconds. But, uh, yeah. You have a bunch of dope. I have to know. I have to know. That's how you. That's an attention getter. There you go. Uh, Alan, feet surrounded by succulents is the only way I'll listen to your show. Well, see, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out if that's what uh, uh, transpires. Also, a lot of people, uh, when I mentioned Mary's going to join us tomorrow, she will be on West Coast time. Uh, that'll be 11 o'clock her time. Whether or not she's up in time remains to be seen. I don't know. I think she'll be fine. You think so? Because, I mean... She'll have some jet lag. She'll have some jet lag, but I think... She'll, it'll be harder for her in the evenings. I don't think waking up early is going to be a problem because, I mean, she she can wake up at eleven o'clock our time and it's eight a.m. their time, mm-hmm. so she should be fine. Mm-hmm. Mike and Parma points out that we we probably have plenty of listeners on windowsills contemplating a jump. Now that's a whole other uh, ball of wax. Hopefully, if that's where you work, the windows don't open at least enough for you to kind of shimmy out. And uh, shuffle off your mortal coil. I've got to take a break. I'll have another $1,000 for you to win. Uh, still in the thick of go fund to yourself. So every time you hear one of these keywords, it's another 1000 bucks for you to put into your pocket. So 230 is the next time you'll have a shot to win. If you want to text in here for anything in the break, 35192, and we'll be back. 